The Network of University Legal Aid Institutions Nigeria, a civil society organization, says no fewer than 7,996 people were persecuted in the Federal Capital Territory by the COVID-19 mobile court. Program manager of Nulai Nigeria, Mr. Mahmoud Yusuf, made this known in Abuja at a media launch and presentation of study on COVID-19 pandemic. Data collected between April 23rd to June, uh, 20, uh, 1st of June 2020 from the mobile courts shows that there were 216 sittings across the 13 mobile courts within the FCT. Uh, 7,996 persons were prosecuted, and out of this number, 2,593 were discharged, while 544 were acquitted. Um, 37 were transferred, and 5,284 were sentenced. Pro bono lawyers supported Nulai Nigeria in providing legal representation for 2,119 defendants charged before the mobile courts. The study set out to review the implementation of the, what the implementation of the Quarantine Act and the attendant regulations have taught us as a society in the promotion and sustenance of rule of law, human rights, and public health. The approaches used by the FCT COVID-19 mobile courts as case study in looking at how the constitutional rights of defendants were protected at the mobile courts in the FCT and how the composition of the mobile courts complied with public health and safety standards. Also, it looked at how the use and enforcement of custodial, non-custodial sentences uh, a sentencing affected sentencing guidelines and support the reduction of pretrial detention. The research also analyzed what the effects of the discretionary powers given to the executives under the Act and how it affected the protection of rights and the de deviations from the rule of law. Chief Justice of the FCT, Justice E. Saibello, represented by Deputy Chief Registrar Magistrate, FCT Judiciary, Sharon Ishaya, has this to say. The purpose of the mobile courts were twofold. First, to ensure um, due compliance to the quarantine um, act that had been engaged by the government uh, in an attempt to protect the citizenry. And then also, too, to ensure that um, even in the midst of chaos at its stand by at, at that time, we needed to also have a sense of um, um, protection for the citizenry in terms of maintaining justice and law and order in the society. For me, I believe it was absolutely commendable. And like I said, the issue of da data is fantastic. When we collect data, it helps us understand what we have done right, what we need to improve. And that is what this data has actually done for us within the FCT judiciary. We'll look at it and we'll address those issues that we need to adequately improve. We cannot overemphasize the usefulness of data, both collecting it, collating it, and analyzing it. It actually comes in very handy. 